Welcome to Suerte del Molino, a farm in Andalusia, Spain. This is the southern border. It goes uphill and then behind the hill a valley and then a mountain. So somewhere here should be a fountain and the Romans used to dig into it and then extract, extract the water through a tunnel shaft system towards the north where they had vegetable gardens and not too far from here two kilometers or so is still the remains of a uh, Roman village so water comes from the higher part into this shaft and just before it is a huge four meter wide and about six or seven meters deep whole egg-shaped dome and uh, it's called decantadora decanter it traps the sediment before it goes into the rest of the shaft and the tunnel La Mina, the mine What we see is sand And that side is the start of the decantadora. It's not supposed to be sand, but I'm not going to spend three months of my life digging this. And they want 15,000 euros to clean this. Anyway, the water is now siphoning through the sand towards the next shaft. We are here at the second shaft. I try to open it with my one hand. So there's water and sand. And then it fills a cistern. This cistern is about two meters deep, two meters long, and a meter and a half wide. Then I have the pumps, uh, one pump here. This is the cistern. This pump can supply water into three directions. I can irrigate the east, I can irrigate the west, or I can send the water up to the water tanks. The pump has its own poncho. I have a scoop here to lift out any floating object I don't want in the water. Then I have my measuring stick. The water is about here now and if I pump for two hours it goes to here and I'm not keen on taking away uh, more water than lower than this. So let's follow the water to the tank. Water comes from below. 
it passes through here two valves this one is open this one is closed because this pipe goes this way and I have no need for that pipe so that's why it's closed in theory I can pump from here to the well and from the well to here as well 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 and every time I have two supply lines crossing I have my post and my yogurt container so the water goes up to the tank these tanks are 15 one five meters higher than where the water comes from this is the water from the well and this is the water from the cistern here once again I can decide where to pump it to either this upright tank or the inflatable tank over there um, this is the second video to document water under my feet in the third fourth fifth I will do the distribution of the water from the tanks or from the pumps right now I've done from the well to the tank and from the canal system to the tank about uh, 1800 liters per hour with that pump for nine months of a year I can pump at will two months I have to restrain myself and October I have to think before I pump which is not too bad we are very blessed with that and we want to make sure that we stay uh, water secure um, some community member came up with a stupid idea of telling me to put another one on the opposite side and now it's growing in me don't do that so uh, if there is a tank like this a hundred thousand liters on top of the hill <laughs> that side and then uh, we have water security for two years the community said that is the acid test for having enough if you can look after yourself for two years with water with cash with firewood with food we are far from there but uh, we are working towards that until video three goodbye